Well, Mr. Vice President, Mr. Vance, thank you for your thoughtful words and the genuine sentiments you expressed towards me and the Egyptian people. As you well know, these feelings are mutual. The Egyptian people value very highly the ever-growing friendship and cooperation with the people and leadership of the United States. We are also gratified by the keen interest you are maintaining in the establishment of a comprehensive, just, and lasting peace in the Middle East. All along, we have held the view that this nation is the most qualified to be a full partner in the peace process. Your heritage is unique, and so is your global responsibility. When you demonstrated your determination to assume such responsibility fully, you reaffirm the faith of my people in the United States and its dedication to the cause of peace. We come here at a crucial crossroad. The challenge is tremendous, but we have no choice except to accept the challenge. We cannot afford to fail the hopes of nations all over the world. No one has the right to block the road to peace. This is no time for maneuvers and worn, worn out ideas. It is time for magnanimity and reason. I pray to God Almighty to guide us in this great endeavor and enable us to achieve the noble goal which inspired President Carter to call for this conference. This inspiration is and shall remain a brave and gallant act of statesmanship. Together, we shall proceed to build a viable structure for peace on the solid foundation of law and legitimacy. Together, we shall realize the hopes of those who believe in the supremacy of right and justice, and together we shall overcome. Thank you.